guys how's it going connected welcome back so i just want to do a love message and see what's going on because i'm just sitting here and then i start channeling that whitney houston song uh i just want to dance with somebody i want to feel the heat with somebody with somebody who loves me so let's see what's going on okay i say unrequited so somebody could be in an unrequited love situation Okay, dealing with healing family issues, I've seen as well. Let's see, Spirit Guides, ancestors of the highest white light, what messages do you have for the collective? What does the collective need to know from the romance angel? Please and thank you. Only take the messages that resonate, you will know intuitively if the messages are for you, okay? Please do not try to force the messages. Let's see, Spirit Guides, what's going on? So we have love yourself first, but it came in reverse. So someone is just not feeling worthy. Like someone doesn't feel like they deserve love or that they're able to find the love that they that they're are like wishing, praying, and hoping for. One, one, one on the clock. Give me one second. And then we have you deserve love right here. Okay, you guys. I apologize. So we have love yourself first. So it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So someone isn't feeling as confident about their self. Like someone low, I mean, someone's self-esteem is not where it needs to be. But spirit is telling you or this person you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. Yeah. And true love behind it. Unrequited love. So whatever situation you thought that you was in, you could have thought that it was true love, but it was actually unrequited, okay? It could have just been more so all about the kids or just focused on the kids. It could have been like more so, um, I just heard it in a way, way. So it was like more so the relationship was built on responsibility, okay? It was basically built on priorities. So it could have been love there, but it had died out over time because of responsibilities, two, two, two on the clock, okay? But this person is feeling like they're not deserving of true love. So whoever they're with or whatever is going on around them, this person doesn't feel as confident enough to love right now. Okay? So that's why that song was channeled to me because it's like this person wants to be able to be comfortable and be their self when it comes to loving someone genuinely or mutually. Like this person wants somebody to understand them and to actually like be on the same page as them like make them feel love make them feel wanted okay and this person isn't getting that where they are because it's unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this person is trying to heal their inner child right now as they try to work on their self-esteem and trying to figure out ways to um, know that they are deserving like this person needs to tell their self positive affirmations every day so they can build their self-esteem up when it comes to love 333 three, three on the clock okay so let's see give me more spirit we have stay optimistic about your love like positive thinking and faith will bring romance exactly so this person needs to think positive continue to give self positive talk okay it's like prepping it's like Prepping your confidence up. When you talk positive to yourself, okay, look yourself in the mirror and just say positive things. Give love and light back into you the way that you do others. The way you compliment others, you should be able to compliment yourself as well. Okay, we have release your ex. Forgiving and learning. Express your love. Getting to know each other. Worth the wait. This could be the one. So this person feels as though that you are the one for them, okay, and they want to express their love for you, but right now everything is divine intervention everything is divinely orchestrated okay so things are balancing out right now with these angels right here so it's a lot of angels surrounding you and this person at this time as they continue to release their ex or release people places and things that no longer serve them that could be keeping this person in this energy or this mindset to where as though that they're not able to love or be loved 444 on the clock so it's protection around you guys okay 
forgiving and learning. This person is releasing and healing the past, okay? You experience more love in the present moment. So this person is just trying to find time in the moment, okay? This person is trying to live in the here and now, just have fun, and just enjoy their self right now. So this person could have released their ex because... They knew that it wasn't enough chemistry or love there to continue on that journey. Everything was falling and crumbling apart, and it just stopped mainly focusing on the kids. But now this person is trying to find love and be able to get that self-confidence and love back within themselves. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and get to know each other. Yeah, so this person is probably out just getting to know other people, you or your you or the person external to you. Is trying to get out and get to know other people, okay? Because right now, you're just feeling like that you are not deserving of love. And Spirit is saying, yes, you are deserving of love. You have to think positive and keep that faith and know that you will attract love as long as you are feeling that within you, okay? So just go out and express yourself and just be open and optimistic, okay? Because love is all around you as long as it's within you, Okay? But this person is feeling like you could be the one or you're feeling like this person is the one, okay? But it say it's worth the wait. Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? So you're going to find the one that you've been seeking, looking for, or are praying for, okay? Because angels are all around this situation, all right? Like, listen. Ace of Pentacles. A blessing. <laughs> That's why I said somebody is channeling a whole bunch of love messages. This person, see Ten of Cups, they see you as emotionally fulfilling. But they've been hiding it from you and Herman Mo about their feelings and emotions for you. Like you make this person emotionally fulfilled. It said you picked them up when I was down. And this Ace of Pentacles keeps coming out. Okay, let's get some messages. Spirit guys, what's going on with this person and their feelings and emotions? What do the collective need to know about their person, feelings, and emotions, Spirit? What does the collective need to know about their person, feelings, and emotions towards them? Please and thank you. Ooh. Please and thank you, spirit guys. Their person, emotion, and feelings towards them. What does the collective need to know about their person and feelings towards them? Ooh, the five of wands. This person is fighting it. Okay? They're trying to fight all their emotions and feelings for you. This person is in a lot of chaos and confusion. Confusion. Confusion surrounding this love that they have for you. Give me more spirit. The world card. Okay, so whatever confusion, chaos, and conflict surrounding this person and how they felt for you, it's closing out. Okay, it's coming to full circle. The world card. Okay, the queen of swords. Who? Hold on, though. Who is this queen of swords spirit? The two of pentacles. So this person could either been juggling you with a queen of swords or you could have just been the one that was juggling, okay? Queen of swords. Give me more on this two of pentacles. Get the fool card. So maybe you're unsure or you're not sure if you want to take this chance or not with this person. Because of the confusion and the chaos and conflict surrounding this situation, okay, and you just closed it out completely with the world card collector, whether this is you or someone external to you dealing with this situation, okay, um, but you just like, you don't want to have to just be all over the place when it comes to like starting over, okay, taking a leap of faith, doing something new. Give me one for it. We had the two of swords. Yeah, it's like you're you're just trying to make things out right now. Like you're just trying to figure things out is what I'm getting collected. Whether this is you or someone external to you. So you could have went into hermit mode. 
Okay, you could have ghosted the situation as well or just isolated for a minute to figure things out. Because you is unsure about taking this leap of faith or starting this brand new beginning with this person when they come in or not. Take it where it resonates. Because of the confusion, but it's closing out with the world card. The confusion is over. There's no more confusion. Because we did see release your ex. Okay? So that's where the confusion could have been from collective dealing with someone from your past. It's like this person is waiting and watching to make a move towards you. I've seen the page of swords with the chariot. And now we have the temperance card. Yeah, this person is patiently waiting. But they're watching you, figuring out how they can make a move. Okay? Because this person can feel and sense that you could be over the games or like you're dead serious. With the queen of swords, you came out as the queen of swords. Okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Or you just in your queen of swords mode. To where as though you're not with the back and forth. Two of Pentacles. So it's like, you just like, I'm not sure if I actually want to take this leap of faith. Okay? But I'm going to stay open to it, Two of Swords. I'm still going to see both sides of the spectrum. But I'm going to also be in Herman mode and do my research. Okay? And, and, and continue to do my homework. That's what you're saying, Collective. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. This could be someone from your past, six of cups, three of swords, yeah, X. Okay? You're just trying to weigh out your options right now. You're just trying to weigh things out. You're trying to see if this is the route you should go or not with the two of swords. Let's see. Give me more spirit. Yeah, the seven of pentacles, two of cups. I mean, you've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about this connection. You've been thinking about this relationship with this person collected. Yeah, you missed them. Five of cups. Okay. Male or female, you know which side. Take it where it resonates, you guys. Yeah, then we got the knight of cups. Look, the king of pentacles and the emperor. Yeah, this person wants to come in with a stable, solid commitment. Okay. Like, they want to be committed to you. So, that's what this person is is investing and working towards or building towards but they they don't know how you feel so maybe this person is trying to figure out your feelings and emotions because they see you in this queen of swords mode like you cutting shit down you going you seeing through shit you ain't got time to play games or none of that collective male or female take it away and resonate because you could be a male in your queen of swords energy as well okay it's all energy okay but this emperor definitely wants to come in and commit to you. Whether they want to give you something or give you an apology or just express and be open to you. Because they say express your love. This could be the one getting to know each other, but giving and learning lessons. Okay? It's just you have to be willing to forgive yourself and this masculine has to be willing to forgive himself as well. Okay, y'all can't see the car, so I'm just moving this back some. All right, you guys. Let's keep it going. But this emperor feels a connection. They feel a bond to you. And they can't stop thinking about you. They sit and think about you. And it keeps them going back and forth in the two of pentacles on taking this chance. Because they don't know how you will respond or if they do come towards you, how you will react is what I'm getting. Because this person is releasing and letting go of the confusion, the chaos, and the conflict. They closing that out with the world card. It's over. They ended that out. Whatever confusion or chaos and conflict surrounding you and this person, they're no longer entertaining that. Like, it's still around this person in this energy, lingering, but this person is not giving in to it. Yeah, king is full. Six to cut. Okay, it's like this person is now balancing things out with someone that they have kids with or someone that they're just not getting along with right now. Like, things in their life is just all over the place with the two of pentacles. And this person is trying to, like, get back grounded and get back stable and get on their feet. But they still have some confusion dealing with someone that they're um, married to, an ex-wife, or whatever the case may be. Because I see the king of swords and the queen of swords. 
So this person don't want you to be in Queen of Swords mode and as well as this person is dealing with a Queen of Swords. 14, 44 and a clock. Yeah, this person blocked you out and walked away from you to work on a merge that was karmic. It was a karmic merge or a karmic relationship or a karmic contract that this masculine was in dealing with this Queen of Swords. You or your person, take it where it resonates with somebody from your past, okay? Because you do have release your ex out here, okay? Male or feminine energy. All right, Spirit, let's see what's going on. It's like this person feel like everything that they invested in, work hard towards, and put time and energy into, it's like they're now losing it. Five of Pentacles. And it's very disturbing to this person. Like, they're very disturbed. It's like irritating them. Because it's like they, they hit rock bottom. That's why I say this masculine is trying to get back on their feet. Okay? So that's why their emotions and feelings, they're not expressing it. Because right now they're focused on their stability, getting back grounded. Okay? And being secure within their self. Because they think about this relationship and this connection uh, all the time about you. Okay? Collective. Male or female. They think about you all the time. On some B5. But this person knew that they played mind games with you. Five of swords with justice. This person knew that they wasn't being fair because they was playing mind games. 16, 16 on the clock. So it's like this person was trying to stall time or, or trying to like get past time or whatever the case may be. Stalling. By manipulating you just to have things work out for them in the background overall. Because remind you, you either ghosted this person or this person ghosted you and blocked you out. And was ignoring you. This person was ignoring you the whole time. But it's not a day and a... It's not a time and a day they don't think about you. Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. It's just this person has some confusion, conflict, and chaos that they need to release and let go and close out. And bring it full circle with the world card. And keep that door closed and don't reopen it. Because this person know they can't continue to keep mind effing you. Mind fucking you. Playing games. Yeah. This person is being... This person just needs to hear some toxic things that they got going on within them. Okay? So this person... Is now realizing their own toxic behaviors towards you. It's what caused this relationship to disappear. <laughs> I don't know why I say that like that. Yeah, because this person is obsessively in love with you. Ain't the cups in the devil. Like they're stuck on you, the hangman. Go check that reading out I just posted, okay? This kind of resonates almost with the story. I mean, with the reading I just did when I was like a masculine put you on the back burner. Okay, why they want to go out and play around. So they could be divorced. They is separated or not even talking or dealing with this queen of swords. Okay, as well as not even talking to you. But they're just going out just doing what they want to do. Okay, they doing them right now. Yeah, they're still holding back for you from you for a pinnacle. Page of cut. It's like this person. It's like they get pushed or led is what I'm hearing. To text you or reach out to you, but this person never do. They pull themselves back. Yeah, I'm telling you, the magician and the queen of cups. Like, this person, like, holds back from sending you a message. And it's like, everything that this person manifests, it's like, it go the opposite. Because it's like, this person is playing too many games. It's like the five is full. And it's like, this person just continues to hold themselves back. But they know the hidden emotions and feelings that they have for you. They just suppress it very well. Yeah, the five of swords again. When they they manipulate in the fact that they want to show you attention, give you attention. Look, king of wands and the six of wands and the five of swords. I told you this person is manipulating the fact that they want to come and show and give you attention. You got this person undivided attention, but they just want to tell themselves otherwise. They want to just... Just be free. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shit. You got your own free will. You do what you please. You do as you want. Okay? But the only thing is, don't leave nobody on because you get karma for that. Like, let it know, let somebody know what it is and what it ain't. Okay? Always remember that. Like, stand in your integrity. 
Okay, when your integrity lies, and that's being truthful and honest to people. Don't sit up here and, and stir up confusion and, and be manipulative and lying, trying to lead people on just for your own satisfaction. No, because if this is if you want to be with somebody, be with that person. So what if what the next person is saying, so what? If that's what your heart is telling you, then do it. That's why spirits say express your love. Get to know each other. Forgive and learn each other from whatever past issues that you and this person been through, dealing with access, people, places, and things that was stirring up lies or trying to make you feel like, oh, if you go to another relationship or if you be with something or somebody else, blah, 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 so what? It don't matter. 20, 22 on the clock. Do what you want to do and be happy doing it. Point blank, period. Listen to your intuition. Stop listening to them other voices uh, what other people is telling you and saying to you, listen to yourself. Okay? You're not going to know what makes you happy, nine of cups, until you actually take that leap of faith and do what you feel is best for you. Yeah, nine of cups, ace of wands. Don't let nobody put fear in you. That's why I seen that devil. That's why I said still some toxic stuff lingering in this person's energy. I don't know if it's because it's a mindset or it's just what people have been telling this person or what Somebody around this person is telling them that's causing them to be afraid and to block out their emotions and feelings that they have for you. Because it's there. It's out here. We've seen it. It's just that it's being delayed and held up and stalled because somebody in this person's ear telling them nonsense. Like trying to make them be afraid to take a leap of faith to go to wherever they want to go. Like, let the person go. Okay, free my man. What you doing? <laughs> okay, tell them, collectors, say free my man. Let, let them go and let them be and let them do whatever they want to do. Let people be happy, man. Stop trying to hold people up because you confused. Okay, and you lost in the sauce and don't know what the fuck about to happen and what you got going on next. Once this person leave your life, male or female. Let these people be free and do what they want to do. Let these people go. Why are you holding somebody hostage, bruh? The heck? I'm hearing criminal minds. What the fuck is this? You holding this person hostage. Lord, what is this? Masculine. If you're watching, or feminine. But this is really a masculine I'm talking to because the emperor is the only thing out here. So once again, collective, if your masculine is dealing with a karmic that's holding them hostage, because this is what this is, the two of swords and the hermit. That's like some hostage energy. Like not trying to let this man go and be free with the food card. She's trying to keep this masculine going back and forth to a pinnacle. And all he's thinking about in the meantime, in between time, is your ass, Divine Feminine. Because they know that they, they're trying to get back on their feet and get grounded and secure to come in and give you this offer, Knight of Cups. But it's still some fuck shit going on around this person. That's why they hold it back from you. This stuff got to stop. This stuff got to stop. Like these karmics is off the chain. You holding up people, like you held the people hostage and stuff. And then like stressing these people out. Look, the devil and the nine of swords, ace of wands. Like what? I'm telling you, you holding this person hostage. Look at them. Look at them damn swords right there. They probably be cooped up in the same room every day, all day. They don't even move. They probably don't even do nothing. Because they probably don't can't even do nothing. Like this person is is like. So someone could be real aggressive towards somebody when it comes to sex. So say for instance, because I did see unrequited love. So say for instance, if this masculine or this feminine energy don't want to have sex, this person is aggressive and they take it. I don't know what I just picked up on this ace of one of the devil and nine of swords as soon as I touched it. Like it's like somebody forcing their self onto somebody to have sex and they don't want it. That's why it's unrequited love. How are you going to force yourself onto somebody? To stay stuck to you. Like you, you, you stressing this person out. 
you the reason why this person is 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 fearful, is afraid. Because they don't know what you will do, what you got going on. Oh, no, this is some crazy shit. That's why I said you holding somebody hostage. Yeah, it's some, somebody is in a home with somebody. Holding a masculine or something or somebody hostage. And then trying to sit up here and force themselves onto them sexually. And the person don't want it. Look at their ass. Oh, my goodness. Clarify this ace of wands, the devil, and nine of swords, spirit guys. Yeah, the five of pentacles. It's a no. They don't want it. Like, the sex probably dry or it's probably... I don't know. Give me more spirit with this ace of wands, the devil, and the nine of swords. Two of wands. And the two of wands fell over here with the seven of pentacles. So this person been thinking... I'm telling you, this person is thinking about you all day, every day. They're just trying to strategically come up with something. Two or one. Okay? I don't know what it is, but that's what they're doing. Okay? Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, Judgment. Yeah, this person feel like it'll be victory with you. You could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be an Aries, a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So we got earth signs, we got air signs, and we also have water signs out here. So you can be either or the signs. It's like this person wants to come and give you the attention. They want to come and give attention to you. Or their baby mother could be geeked for attention from them. I don't know, but it's unrequited love here. This person can't, I'm not even going to say that. We ain't going to do it like that. But what I just heard, keep looking over there at the Ace of Wands, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords. This person probably can't even get, get turned on or hard by this person. I don't know why I heard something about pills. This person got to do something just to get sexually aroused because something ain't working. Like this person is sexually frustrated. They can't even get up or have sex with this person or whatever they got going on in this house. This is some crazy shit. Then my phone be going off. It just went off. The little thing on my tablet. Some crazy shit going on in this house. Some real toxic shit. Okay. <sighs> Baby. Okay, for any final outcome for this, for for this, for these messages right here for the collective from a person. What does a person need to tell them? Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so they're coming to you to offer you this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this person is tired of having fantasies. This person is tired of daydreaming about you. Daydreaming of the, of the fact of having a family, kids with you, being with you, spending time with you, or whatever the case may be with this person. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Like this person going to continue to do whatever it is that they want to do, dealing with this relationship or marriage that they're in. And this with somebody from their past, whether this is you or someone external to you. Okay? Like this person just don't care anymore. They doing what they want to do with this Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. And it's like this person just don't care anymore. They don't care what this person got to say, how they feel, or none of that. It's like this person is just going to do what they want to do until they can make it to you or find a way to get to you. Okay? 
Because this person is sneaky. Like, this person is strategically trying to figure out how they can get to you. Neither one. Because they about to double back. It's like this person about to do a whole double back. They just got to get through the bur the responsibility and stuff that they have going on with this family and their kids. Okay, but it seems like this person is carrying the responsibilities very well. They handling it very good. Because they still moving, they still on the go, and they still being strategic. Look, seven schools, night of wands. This person is still doing whatever it is they want to do. Point blank period. Look, and then the nine of cups. I'm telling you. This person just don't care anymore. Like, they're over it. They're over it. Nine of swords. 30, 33 on the clock. Like, this person can't even get up. They can't get sexually aroused. They're not attracted to this person no more. All they do is fuss, fight, argue. Okay, they don't see eye to eye. This person is keeping this person hostage or kidnapping them or whatever the case may be. So they won't come to you. So this person has to find other things to do. To get their mind off of you and to get their mind off of whatever they got going on in this house, in this home. Like this person is just all over the place right now. They they all over the place. Their energy is everywhere. They're scattered everywhere. This person just needs to sit their ass down in Herman mode and really think out well thought out plans and strategically take action on those things. Because right now this person is all over the place. Let's see what messages we can get from here and then I'm out of here. Look, and did you hear my son playing that song, Turn Down For What? I'm telling you, this person is lit right now. Like, they're on all moves. They're on they're on go right now. Anything else they can care less about right now. Like, this person is... I don't, okay, what I heard was... Okay. This person is just on all moves. That's all I can say. Because I heard what I heard, but I don't want to say it. But this person is just, like, no. Even when they're on these... Whatever they're doing, okay... Whatever moves they're making, or whatever the case may be, to just like kill time or to get past time or to get by, because ain't shit going on over here. Like, give me messages for it. We have trust yourself. Your intuition is powerful. Trust it. Nothing can replace your internal compass. Yeah, this person is trusting into their self right now. Okay, they're trusting into their intuition. They doing whatever it is that they feel is best for them. Okay? I am the love of my life. I am enough. Yeah, this masculine is finding out and realizing that they are enough. Nine of cups. Okay? They don't need nobody else to tell them, make them feel good about themselves. They know that they are worthy. They know that they are enough and capable. Okay, because this emperor, ace of pentacles, king of pentacles, this person is on moves, okay? And they on silent at that. We have shift your focus off the problems to see the solutions. You have all you need, yet it's masculine. It's changing their focus. That's that two of wands. Like, they're focused on something else right now, okay? Anything else they can care less about. And we have celebrate love. Your relationships are a divine blessing. Cherish your loved ones. Say, I love you often. So, if this masculine haven't told you he love you or don't say it to you, divine feminist, he love you. Divine masculines, if your feminine ain't tell you, she love you, okay? Let's get one more. We have give freely, support others, give expecting nothing in return. Yeah, this masculine is going to come in, spoil you, boo-boo, cater to you and everything. You're going to get everything that you ever wanted from this masculine, okay? And they're going to make that shit well known to whoever and whatever. Okay, that's why Spirit is saying it's worth the wait. Worth waiting for. Okay, so be prepared. Be prepared. Because whoever, whatever that they was married to or whoever they was with that was an ex, they about to be big mad. Because this masculine is about to show your ass up and show your ass the out. Okay? So this is your message collective. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification. Peace.